what's going on everybody welcome back welcome to the beatmajors.net hey today um it's going to be a video on basically how to uh, flip a sample um now with this one specifically right now just because of uh copyright purposes the beat is pretty much already done so i didn't want to I, I don't want to play the sample but the sample just so you guys can look it up pause this video right now after i tell you the name bob marley burning and looting go check it out listen to the sample you'll hear the part that we took and then um come back and play the video so now that you are back and you're actually listening to this video again if you did go actually pause it uh i'm going to show you guys basically what we did with the sample and then you can take this and apply this to your music production um on flipping a sample that you like so with this sample i'll kind of play it out across the keys um hopefully they, hopefully they don't hit us for a copyright for this but if so it doesn't matter this is for you guys basically we took this sample this is a bob marley sample i was like yo that would be crazy if we flip a bob marley joint we didn't keep it the normal loop we kind of did our own little um chops so in here you can see the chops right here <laughs> Kind of found like a nice uh just nice chops and the they're basically just different instrument hits or different hits um within that that chord um so you have like that's one chord then you have that kind of that same 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 one but not really If you listen to a lot of like Just Blaze, early Just Blaze, or even, you know, Bink, um, the, the uh, producer Bink, he chops his samples up. The way he chops them up is he chops them up so that he can, you know, make his own hits out of them instead of using a whole loop. And that's good to kind of cut out um, a lot of the um, sample clearances. So, you know, as you're making your beats and you're messing with the samples, just remember, you know, it's better to chop it than to loop it. Sometimes you can't help but to loop it, but, you know, if you can, try to chop it. So that's what we did. So I'll, sh I'll show you the, the chop that we did um, and how we kind of flipped it in our own way. <laughs> And of course, at the end, uh, there was a little, uh, there's a little effectrix here. Um, and we, you know, that's just an effect that we added just to kind of do like a little tape stop effect. Um, so from there, that's kind of how you would flip a sample. Um, and then of course, you know, after you flip the sample, you kind of want to, you know, go put some drums to it. So, um, let me show you, uh, what we did. <laughs> And as we always do, we always layer our kicks. Um, we put the old uh, Jaquan, <laughs> uh, I think it was Hood Hop. Those are the drums from the Jaquan Hood Hop. And then we added our own kick up under up under that kick just to kind of give it that punch. Um, so then after the kick, I think we added the snare. <laughs> And as you can see, there are extra hits and things like that. That's just kind of extra variation for the the snare, just to kind of you know give it its own little groove. Um, you don't want it to just be one tag. Tag gets boring after that, so we had to add some variation. And we put a little panning on the snares. Um, and I think those are, yep, those are the only ones we added pan on. And then you know you can mess with your velocity, so you get a pattern like this. <laughs> You know, just something to just kind of, you know, add a little variation to it so that it doesn't sound repetitive the whole time. Um, after we added those, I think we did some hi-hats. Yep, so we added some hi-hats and then from the hi-hats, I think we added some more hi-hats to kind of accent those um, just to kind of keep that. I guess trap feel to it. And 
then as you hear, you know, there are uh, lower notes, you know, a lot of the newer trap stuff, they kind of put those lower notes just to kind of um, accent the hi-hat a little bit instead of keeping it the same um, triplets and things like that. You you can pitch those triplets down so that it adds a nice little flair to your hi-hats. Um, and after that, I think we just added a crash. <laughs> And that's pretty much it. So that's kind of how you flip a sample. Again, it's not a lot to it. Just, you know, once you chop, once you find your loop, you chop that loop um, into 16 beats. Um, you can also do 32 if you want to get, you know, make it tighter. Because if we do 32. <laughs> You can come up with different variations, you know, if you just mess with the, you know, the pitch, not the pitch, but the, the actual chops itself. Um, you don't have to do 32. You don't have to do 16. You can do eight. You can do four. Just whatever feels comfortable for that loop. You might only need four chops out of that loop. So, you know, you might not have to chop it so many times, but just mess with that and then come up with your own groove from that sample, kind of how we did. I hope this helps you guys. I hope that um, you got some kind of value out of this. If you like this video, definitely give us a give us a thumbs up, share it, um, subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace.